All right. Hello. Morning, morning, morning. So today, oh man, I think I want to try to do, um, fix this scene up a little bit and get it nice and pretty and maybe try to submit this to the the splash screen um, I guess the splash screen competition Let me see. here we go so um, 2.8 splash screen support the dev fund so the blender guys ton is asking for new splash screen and they want all the licensing to be GPL and CCO and all that. So, yeah. Um, I, f I have a feeling like there haven't been too many um, submissions yet, but maybe they'll extend the date. But anyway, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. So the theme is the dev fund so they want to make it so it's somehow related to development and uh, I guess donating to blender making sure that they can hire people to work on it so some people are doing coffee uh, for the developers some people are doing coffee yeah, coffee money tip jar that kind of thing but it's tricky yeah it says Ton says it should be fun, engaging, positive, and doesn't look like an annoying advertisement. That's interesting. That's tricky. We'll see. Morning, Andy. Stan Lee died today? Holy crap. Rest in peace. Um, morning, Igor. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure if this scene really fits that that brief, but yeah, how could we make this more? Or maybe I'll have to do a new one, but the deadline is the 14th, so we're almost there. this really weak like 0 0.02 and we can make this a rectangle Morning Tyler, morning Danda, and Mr. Danda. Morning Manu. And, uh, we do um, sketching sometimes, sometimes modeling, sometimes sketching, sometimes both. I'm not sure what we're doing today. I think. I'm trying to make a little bit of a fill fill light here. Not sure if this looks good or not. Just so it's not so dark in there.
Try a little bit lower. If I match that orange color. Play that. Maybe that depth of field is too slow there. But we've got the the cat feet are actually touching, the shadows are touching where they should be now, which is a lot nicer than the, the previous version. And it seems like the, the volumetrics are not flickering as much as before, which is nice. So, I mean, yeah, there's been multiple versions of this scene, and the, the first version was pretty uh, different, actually. Because it was like like right when EV was starting out, and some of these features were not in yet, but I think it's improving a lot. Hello, Hideo. 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 And look checking these little guys and make sure they look okay. I wonder what this looks like without the volumetric. Pretty different. What do you guys think? With with the volume or without the volume? But yeah, the shadows are a lot better on the, the cat's feet. Playing around with the settings a little bit. Yeah, maybe less volume. You can try that. So let's try like. 0 0.05, half half the dens density. Point zero two. Oh yeah, maybe like that. Then I need to extend the scene out a little bit so we don't so we don't lose it. Morning, Greg. Morning collateral debris. Thank you, welcome. Yeah, maybe this less fog is better. Let me see. So let me check that. I'll try, let's try like 0 0.06. Oh. Okay, let 
let me turn it off for a minute and um, save here I want to try to add in some extra stuff too maybe it'll turn out good maybe not I mean some it is pretty simplified looking scene and sometimes it it's not good to overcomplicate things but I just want to try and see if we can make it better. Um, let's see. So let me go back here. Let me try to find some goodies. I think this is the picture that was used the most for for this one. Hmm. Harmonica Kitchen. Man, I want to go to Japan someday. <laughs> One day. It looks so cozy. Maybe some details on the road would be good, like some letters or something. Some rain or puddles. Um, Blender class is starting this week, actually, on Wednesday. So I'm pretty excited for that. We got um, that that term is all booked up for now, and yeah, I'm excited to see see everybody there on Wednesday. First time doing an online class. We're gonna be streaming it all, and we got people from different parts of the world. So I am excited. See maybe some some pillars. Man, gotta love those shadows. Still not over it. Modeling in the dark here. It's not good for your eyes. Maybe we can add a little light over there. Oh man, I love what's happening on these little pebbles on the ground. 
That's pretty cool. Something funny going on here. I think I may have um, messed up one of my scripts here. Let me just revert it back. Where would that be? Operators. Just comment this out. and see if that fixes it. Nope. What did I do? All right, I'm gonna just have to revert this one. This is the magic of Dropbox, guys. You just go on Dropbox. And you can undo it. Undo everything you did. All your mistakes in life. So maybe 927, possibly. Sorry about this. It's nope. All right, I'm going to go back to yesterday. Oh, wait, that's not the one I'm looking for. Shoot. This is the one. I hope I'm not missing anything important there. There we go. Okay, let's see. 
Maybe some slats like that would be good. I'm going to separate this onto its own little object here. can pick one and then the next and then I'm using shift Z to create a pattern like this just like that I guess. Go all the way up. Trying to fix up this scene a little bit. Man, what is wrong with my... Uh the heck? So it works here, but it doesn't work here. Weird. this is. I think I know. Or maybe I don't know. Huh. I'm confused. Let's see. Let's get 
Get another... I like these um, weird little box lights. I wonder, wonder if we can get something like that. Material. And then we'll make a new slot and give this one like a light. Or paper light. I'll just make a new material actually. New. Call it. Paper light. This needs to become uh, emission. Okay. And um, I think we could also do this. Change the color into a gradient texture. Put the vector to, um, where would the vector go? Position. Let's see, 
input. Uh, where was it? Texture coordinate. That's the one that we need. Object. There we go. So now we've got that texture showing up and we need it to be spherical. And we need to start to change it. So let's go look for texture mapping. Mapping right here. Okay. So now we can change the location. That. Okay. And then also, we can start to see a little bit of a fade there, but I want to add a color ramp to control the fading a little bit more. Oh, sorry, that doesn't go there. The color ramp goes in here. So here we can see that control and can make this like that. Can change the scale here. Anyway, I think that's not too bad right there. And then you would need to also add in a regular light here. a little bit warm and um, softness should be zero air exponent exponent sorry So if I grab this thing here, let's see. Let me snap the center to the bottom of this. Then I'll snap, or I'll parent this to this. Control P, object. So now wherever we put this thing, follow that light will follow along. Not bad. What if we were to put this into a collection? Box light. Then we could add another instance of that box light. And then we get that other light to follow along like that. Although I might be over lighting it here or overdoing it. I kind of like the, the dark moody version. But it is, it's cool that we can do this. We have the option. We go back to our original one. Should be able to mess with it here also. Thank you. 
Maybe just slightly warm. Does EV not support emission materials? It does, actually. That's what we're using. Emission. But, I mean, for either cycles or EV... Well, actually, no. Cycles does give light off from emission. But, okay, so it's a little bit confusing. Because if, if you're using um, an emission in EV like uh, let's say we make this plane into an emission um, well actually let me make a new new material for that one switch this to emission okay so here's our emission and as you can see nothing is happening it's not interacting with the background or with the other surfaces but if we turn on um, there's two ways to make it interact one way is with reflections so if we turn on reflections here screen space reflections now this material doesn't have reflections actually let me go over here but yeah so if a material has reflections the light will show up in the reflections but that's only for reflections. That's not really um, like regular light. So just regular diffuse light, if you wanted to see that, you would have to use a light probe. So say if we put it over here, and then we add in a light probe, and then irradiance volume, this will do like a fake kind of lighting pass so if I put this irradiance volume o around this area where that light is supposed to be influencing and then we go Z bake lighting then you start to see it to um, populate in that area but the disadvantage is that this is a baked light so if we move this thing out of the way it's not it's not gonna be following it around so if we go over here then we would have to move this thing and rebake it so I mean it depends what you're trying to do but that's the workaround um, yeah if we were to have this in cycles I think it would just it would just all work automatically but of course it's it's a lot slower that way yeah, my computer is like just dying right now. Let's see. Pretty slow, especially with all the volume volumetrics in here. Um, hey Dandatron says, did you model this scene in 3D without any sketches? If so, how do you find putting down an idea straight in 3D? Um, I did, I did a little painting for this scene first, and actually I'll show you guys how what the painting looked like. So it was a very simple painting. Where is it? All my files are all like mixed up and messed up. Where is it? Ah, here it is. 
So here is a painting just to try to get, I mean, it was just a little idea of having this guy, this creepy dude on a bike in front of a light, lighted, a lit uh, storefront at night. And I wanted to get these shadows of the wheels in there. And then that was it. The rest of the scene just kind of built around him and the cats and stuff I thought would be cool. And this was rendered in cycles, I think. Yeah, cycles. And then I wanted to test this out in, in an animation, but I didn't want to render forever. So this was the first EV version of the animation. And you can see there's like little glitches happening. This flickering, weird flickering stuff. I don't know if that would still happen now, but hopefully not. And then I think this is the, the later version. But I think um, you can you can build this stuff out in 3D without a sketch if you if you have an idea of what you want. I mean that. So here we have the that um, irradiance volume is giving us a lot of light information in here all this extra stuff and then we have a bigger volume over here for like the generic the overall light but you know I'm I'm not sure if I like it better with or without because if I if I turn it off here the vo um, the um, indirect lighting if we delete that lighting cache. I'm sort of okay with it like this too. And then also the reflections here. Maybe I just need to adjust the reflection, the roughness of this. Yeah, I'm not sure if I if I like this better with or without the reflections, you know? So sometimes it's, I mean, if we're going for the super simple style, maybe we could just go more intense with it and just make it ultra simple. I don't know. And yeah, the eyes, let's see, maybe. Hey Gabor, I'm using um, my own custom Pison setup. You can find it on. Um, if you just search, search through my channel, you'll you'll see Heavy Poly 2.8 config, and you'll have more information on it there. Does transparent shader work now? Yes, it works. You can do. And you mean like glass? 
We can do glass. Or can you? Oh, for glass you need to turn on this and this. There you go. In the render settings. <laughs> Not bad. I love this stuff. You can also do glass roughness. monkeys and cats. Oh shit, that's creepy. Probably don't want that in the middle of the frame. holders we need some of those <laughs> they're actually kind of like upside down awnings
Raquel and Gabor. Um, like alpha transparency. And for glass, there's some stuff you have to do. Right. Oh, an image with the alpha channel. Okay, let's try that. Too. All right. So let's um. Let's see. Let's make a new material. And I'll go to node editor. Let me drag in an image. I'll just use this. Put this into the color. Make sure we got something. Okay. Okay. So we got our image in there. And let's say we want to use this as a mask. So let's see if we can add in a mix here. The mix will combine two shaders. So if we have a transparent shader, then we can connect that here. OK, so let's see. We need to make sure that it can go from one to the other. All right, let's say that this shader is red, the, the solid one, and then the transparent one is white, or it should just be clear. But it's not working, it's just becoming black. So what else can we do? Maybe change this from opaque to alpha blend. Does that work? Nope. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see. Again, this time I'll just do that first just to make sure that I, I don't crash. I'll change it to Alpha Blend. Let's look for the crash. Do we have any crashes? And then I want to put a mix and a transparent. OK. All right. So now we're starting to see, see through this thing, but only halfway because we have our factor only halfway. So now it's going. Fading between fully transparent and fully opaque using this factor. So now all we need to do is add in an image. So let's bring in this image again. Let me save this so it doesn't crash. And then bring this image and tell it to go into the factor. And there it is. Good to go. We can flip this upside down. Like that. Now we have a little sticker sheet here. Could make this a different color. Change it so it's not so. There we go. So this could be like our puddle, puddle map here. Or not really a pu puddle map here, but let's see. We could use this for. Just stickers, maybe. I guess it doesn't really work that well on a, a broken down surface like that. But what if we wanted to just add in um, a street texture like Japan? I need to find a good picture though.
Huh. Um, uh, where are you? I like this one because it has a little bit more texture to it. Uh, but I need to, I guess, I would need to crop this. And also, I would need to transform this. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'll try. This is not ideal. But oh well, good enough. Oh god, this is a bad idea. Super low res. You would obviously want to find a much better picture than this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Could use this for a a puddle though. So let's see if we let's make a new plane and a new material. See if I can do this with just the pop-up materials pop-up. So this needs to be a mix. In one shader we have the transparent. In the other one we have principled, principled. Okay, and then let's see. And this needs to be alpha blend. Don't crash. One more time. New material. This should be mix. This should be transparent. 
This should be off of blend. Save. This one is principled. And now I can scrub between them. Okay, good. It's working. So now this factor needs to be an image. Or actually, no, this can be noise. We can use noise to create puddles. So now it's loading up. Ah, come on. So close. So close. I know you can do it. I believe in you, Blender. We believe in you. Principled. Save you. Come on, noise, come on. Compile, god damn it. Okay, we got the noise. There we go. So I, I see it. It is happening. Make this metallic. There we are. Okay. The color of the noise. Color of the noise. Let's see. How do we control that? I guess we can't. If I add in, I needed a color ramp here. To control that. There we go. Can go like that. Hey, what happened? Where'd you go? No. Alright, I think I need um, input mapping. Or, te oh, sorry, texture coordinate. Object vector. There we are. And that looks pretty bad. Pretty bad. Anyway, I'm not uh, not liking this. It's totally my fault because I don't. I'm not really good at this uh, whole whoa noise noise stuff. But anyway, all right. So am I using a Wacom to model? Yes, I am. The PNG that worked with Alpha Blend. Yeah, PNG or JPEG should should work. But anyways, guys, um, I think I'm gonna call it for today. I hope uh, I think Pablo should be on for his stream, so I'll I'll check that out if he's on. And I'll see you guys in there if you're gonna check out Blender today. And anyway, thanks for joining in. I hope this was entertaining or useful. Um, I'm going to keep working on this scene and try to submit it for that little um, splash screen competition. Okie dokie. Remember to um, report this channel to the proper authorities and dislike, unsubscribe, and delete my computer. Okay. Have a good day.